Welcome to the concept of subject verb pair must exist. This is one of the basic concepts in the category of subject verb errors. You will begin this lesson with an optional practice quiz to test your knowledge on this topic. Then we will understand the subject verb must exist rule, following which you will learn how to identify subject verb pairs in a sentence. Throughout this file, we will look at five different example sentences. At the end of the concept, you will take the post-assessment quiz to test your skill level in this concept. So let's get started. Let's understand this rule. As we know, a sentence is composed of one or more than one clauses. Thus, clause is a building block of a sentence. Let's now review the building blocks of a clause. Clause must contain a verb, that is, the action of the clause. It must also contain a subject, which is the doer of this action. In addition to subject and verb, a clause may contain other stuff like adverbs, adjectives, prepositions, etc. Thus, each clause in a sentence must contain a subject-verb pair. For example, if a sentence has two clauses, it should have two subject-verb pairs. Click on the Examples button below to view some examples of this concept. Let's look at an example now. Read the sentence. We will first identify the verb, that is the action in the sentence. Have created. Now we will find the subject, that is the entity that performs this action. Costs. So this sentence has one clause and hence it should have one subject verb pair. Costs have created. Thus, this sentence obeys the subject verb pair must exist rule. Example 2. Read the sentence. For this sentence, what is the action? Has created. Now, find the subject. Reduction. This sentence also contains one clause and hence should have one subject verb pair. Reduction has created. Thus, the sentence follows the subject verb must exist rule. However, as you can notice, this is a rather long sentence and it takes too long to find the subject and the verb since we need to concentrate on each word of this sentence. Now, this time-consuming step can be reduced by identifying prepositional phrases.